Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight so these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the executioner. And now introducing the champion, leading out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. You have belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Here we sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the fitting takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Nice. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, big Superman punch there! Oh, single collar tie here. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. And he landed the right hand there. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. Nice uppercut by the champion. Single collar tie now. AC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. While this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. Boy, Ty Plump. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. He blocks the shot. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Elbow lands for him. Just missed with the left there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Lands flush with that right hand. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Back and forth we go. Flips that left hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice strike. So a nice job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage, and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, a little single collar tie there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Ooh. He blocks the punch. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, big punch land. The horn sounds for the end of round one. DC second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, that straight punch 
knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Lands with a right hand. Oh, huge block. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's so committed to body punching. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lunges forward with a left there. There was a lead elbow. So he's mixing everything up. And there comes the separation now. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Plus right hand is true. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Right, he engages in the single power tie. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Beautiful strike. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Watch the shot. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good body shot. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. They continue to exchange. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. Again, back into this position. Connection with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. High nice right punch by this young man. Takedown defense holds up. Oh man, good stick to the body. Right single collar tie now. And he continues to work the body here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice punch lands over the top. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the zone. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will not drop. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch to the clinch. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here 
that really did change the tide of the round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds. On the this is what happened when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next one. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, Superman punch is good. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at poker fits in a zone. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his students certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Single collar tie now. Just misses with the jab. Nice straight right lane. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just misses there with the left. Good punch. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Punch coming, it's blocked. And that one certainly found the target. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Straight punch lands. Right hand on point. Nice uppercut on the inside there. Just out of range with that left hook. Got the single collar tie. Left hook counter. Huge block there. Got the Muay Thai block. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Yeah. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Both fighters throwing heat now. A oh, little single collar tie there. Just a slip there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Good punch, Lance. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Now some uppercuts. He better, ooh, John, he cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice one-two there. 
hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, huge overhand. Another one. Yep. Oh, and a left hand. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible Ready? five. Ready? And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, connects with the one-two. Punch over the top. Engages in the single collar tie. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Ooh, nice, nice right here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, big left hand there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Stuff to take down, no problem. Nice loop and punch. Three minutes. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Yeah, left hook found its target. Again, they clinch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice punch land. Here he is back in the clinch. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. That is when you have to be throwing more kicks. That's the only way to catch someone that you're actually having to chase the whole time. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punches the clinch. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing with nasty, vicious elbows. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose 
to give them the slightest advantage. Nice point, sir. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. When you're in a clinch, you get pulled down on the head and land some beautiful punches to the head. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Connects now with the one-two. Ooh. 15 seconds. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job. He's accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Good stick. Oh, collar tie. Big punch to the body. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. And they separate. It's the elbow there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, single collar tie here. Left hand punch with the clinch. That one's not in. Nice strike. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? I mean, that right hand landed square. Clinch position, look for a lot of different takedown attempts, a lot of level changes, really trying to empty the gas tank of the opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Got the single collar tie. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Three minutes now to go in this one. How good is that right hand? Just misses with that one. Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. Immediately gets the underhook. In the clinch. Big body punch. Digging the entire hit into every single strike. Slips that left hand. What a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Right punches there. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. I mean, he hasn't thrown one leg kick this whole time. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that 
hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Nice straight punch. Oh, he is on point tonight. Nice combination. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skips on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. 30 seconds remain in the round. Great punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice counter shot there. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice combination. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. Decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight. After five rounds, the heavyweight champion remains the same.